Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and we are just going to start right with the attacks. Um, taking a look at a few variety uh, Town Hall 9 attacks from the most recent War in Genesis, and also showing one of the uh, the, the attacks from the uh, CWL War over any Moral Thieves. So, um, just a side note, by the way, I am working on the next attack meta video to show you guys what's working at Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 right now. And I have most of the attacks. I should be uh, finished with that in the next few days and get that uploaded as soon as possible. But for today, we're taking a look at um, probably the opposite of the attack meta, but stuff that's a little more unique. We're not seeing that much, but it is interesting to watch and it can work. And I think it's worth uh, you know knowing how to use in certain circumstances. So this first attack is going to be a witch attack. I'm um, actually a kind of a hybrid with some witches and then also a. Um, like a, a mini La Loon on the back end. You can see how deep he gets into the base. The funnel was great. Uh, the witches, um, unfortunately, didn't go into the base, so I guess the funnel wasn't perfect. The witches are actually almost harder to funnel in than the bowlers, because they have even more range. I think they're a little bit slower, especially when they pause to summon skeletons. It makes them delay longer, and often they'll go to the outside of the base, but they still get in pretty good value just moving around the outside of the base, um, taking out trash buildings, I think helping with a few defenses. The uh, La Loon comes in right there. Queen took out the last air defense, so didn't even need the Lava Hound that much for the tanking. And uh, you can see right here, this base is pretty much toast. Awesome attack to Sub-Zero. Um, let's keep moving. We're going to take a look at um, three more attacks today. Basically, uh, have some Witch uh, action and have some uh, some Dragon action. That's the main things we're looking at uh, being used in different ways in each attack. So this next one is going to be with a few Dragons, also some Baby Dragons. Not a heavy Dragon attack by any means, just four of them. I believe one in the CC, if I remember correctly. He's doing a Queen Walk, and I think that's a great base identification. He notices he can get those two air defenses immediately, and he even brings the jump spell for the third. So he's going to make a huge push uh, with his queen. His queen is level 30, so he has the ability um, to to get, go deep into the base with his queen and not have to worry about her as much as if you had a lower level queen. Uh, so good stuff there. Pops the ability for the CC troops. Um, that's pretty much automatic when you have the Valks, um, the Baby Dragon, plus point damage already on your queen. You're going to need to use the ability, so no point even dropping the Rage. Just go straight for the ability and save yourself um, the Rage while you can. Uh, but he has to drop the Rage almost immediately after because there's more point defense, but he's getting great value. It's worth it. Um, he's taken out some very high-value buildings. Um, so the dragons come in on the right side, or the baby dragons on the right side. The actual dragons are on the bottom here. They'll come in there, they'll take out the queen, and uh, you can see the queen actually is going to stray over towards the baby dragons. So she's not going to go down as um, early as he would have liked. At the top there, if I remember to scroll up, I am voicing these over um, after having recorded them before. There we go. Uh, you can see the king and a few bowlers. Just to take out that little side part of the base that the queen couldn't reach. She actually went down, but the uh, the king and the bowlers will take out the remainder of most of the defenses. Uh, besides, I think the expos will stay up a little bit longer. But the expos, those level 2 expos, aren't going to do as much damage uh, to the dragons. And um, they're just going to kind of make their way through the base slowly but surely, along with the king and um, a few troops behind him. He still has a baby dragon uh, left to deploy. I think he's just waiting to see where he should put it. Um, it is going to be a little bit slow here, but uh, eventually he will take out the rest of the base here. And I think the dragons are definitely not, you know, a common mainstream go-to strategy, but they can work in certain circumstances, especially as people get more creative with the bases and try to make them more unique. It opens up opportunities to three-star bases in other ways. And I think uh, Tornado Top Hat does a good job showing us um, one of the ways, which is a queen walk, or queen charge rather, dragon baby dragon combo uh, with the king and a few bowlers to, uh, to wrap up the side. So very nice stuff there. Let's move on to the next attack. So we're back to some witches, uh, this time with Dennis, and it looks like he has just a few witches, but um, we'll see how he uses them here. Uh, getting started on the bottom right with a golem, I like that little hog just to get in there, um, get a few free defenses while the golem's tanking most of the, uh, the local defenses. Um, very wide funnel, that's important for the witches, and 
Yeah, he's coming in actually on the bottom left here. There is a surprise Tesla that does pop up, but it looks like he gets that golem down in time to tank for it. Uh, Wizards doing back, sitting back doing work. Um, I say this, I've said this a ton of times, but uh, it definitely is worth it bringing a few extra wizards. Now that Town Hall 9 has level 6 wizards, they've had them for a while, but I think people still could use them a little bit more. Um, great job with the funnel. You can see that second layer of funneling, uh, the, going way back to my bowler funneling video, taking out all of that, um, it's just way better for your bowlers, for your witches, for funneling all that stuff inside the base. Um, there's no choice but going right down the little chute in the middle of the base there. What's really funny is all three golems don't go in, yet this still is successful. He has to use the heal spell um, on his bowlers because obviously there's, there's, not, there, there's nothing tanking. All three of the golems were stuck on the walls. Um, eventually, the two golems peel off to the top there, and that one golem will actually kind of peel off towards the middle or something. I don't know. It's going to go somewhere. So the golems are going weird on him, but the uh, the bowlers and the heroes, the main part of the attack, um, went into the base, and that allowed him, allowed him to send the hogs in. Uh, you can see the... Uh, Pretty much all his troops are still up for the most part. Uh, the king did go down, but has the queen, has the bowlers, has both his witches. Um, the hogs did peter out right towards the end there, but he has plenty of troops left up. We'll go ahead and fast forward. One funny little image up here is that uh, big golem walking alongside the four little golemites right there towards the end of the attack. Pretty funny to watch. So, um, good stuff to Dennis. We're going to take a look at one more. Um, now, I believe this last one is a... Uh, dragon attack again, I believe. Let's see. Yep. More dragons. This time, seven of them. And like I said, guys, as people are adapting um, their bases to defend against other types of attacks, this one probably to defend against uh, Laloon specifically, it opens up other attack strategies uh, to use. In this, in this case, it opens up dragons. And he just does a pretty heavily dragon-based attack but also utilizes a Lava Hound in a very tricky way, which you guys will see in just a moment. Um, so the queen making her way through, just taking out stuff on the side really is her purpose. Going to walk her way down. I think she'll actually get close to that next air defense as well. Taking out Teslas, Wizard Towers, all that good stuff. I like that heal spell um, early, but while all the dragons are still together, so he gets the, uh, the benefit of the heal on all his dragons, plus the baby dragon, the CC troops, all that stuff was uh, pretty much neutralized by the heal because the dragons were just healed back up after taking all that damage. Uh, the Lava Hound comes in on the left side there to tank for that first air defense. Then it comes down south, uh, soaks up a few traps, I believe, tanks for the balloons a little bit more, and then he sends in his max dragon, a few level 7 balloons from the CC, and uh, hit a few of his own balloons with a haste spell to get in there, get that last air defense taken out. He has troops on pretty much every side. I have rage spell that he can pretty much swag. Actually, I think he drops it. Yeah, he drops it right there, but doesn't even need it really. Um, ton of troops left up, awesome attack. And like I said, goes to show how we're seeing Town Hall 9 have so much variety lately. Um, I've talked in the past, I wanna see a little bit more balance added. Um, possibly the level 12 archer towers coming down to Town Hall 9 as an upgradable defense. Um, but regardless, I think there should be something. And uh, as you can see, a lot is working at Town Hall 9 right now. Attack meta will be, will be coming out soon, talking about the uh, more established ways, more popular mainstream ways to three-star Town Hall 9s and also Town Hall 10s and 11s. So be looking forward to that. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.